You have a builder chart that shows the development over time, but ended up with a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom. Well, that is because you have a categorical data access, which means you have one label for each data point. So to fix that, we just have to make it continuous. So let's take the chart. And over here, instead of having a calendar hierarchy year month, I'm going to replace that with the date field from my date table. You probably want to have it by year month. Now, to fix that, we have to go to our date table. And here we can just add a new column for the month year. So month year. And the function that you can use for this is the end of month function. So EU month, which returns the last date of a month. And you can move that month. So the starting date we take from our date column. And how many months do we want to go to the front or to the back? Well, zero. So we just fill out a zero. So we just have one date for each month. That's the column that we now can place on the x-axis. And ta-da! The scroll bar is gone.